Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceable's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a re reading. It's a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite fit with your situation, how you are right now, then it most likely is not worth it. It's not, it was not meant for you. Let's put it that way. And if ever you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, give you the different type of options that you have in order to go and get those answers that you're searching for. So that being said, we're going to begin um, We're going to begin this reading, but oh, just before, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and I am very very grateful and I do thank you in advance so now I am ready for this reading because this reading is very important this reading is what you need to hear right now not you know tomorrow not in two days not in this is something you need to know so you can start working on this now most likely you're already you know you might be aware of some of these things maybe it's brand new we're going to go deep into the subject. This reading here is destined for the sign of cancer. Nobody else, just the sign of cancer, okay? And um, so this is what you need to know right now. Let's go see. So here I have the tower. I have the five of cups. I have the page of wands. This is all about love, my dear friends. I have the sun, I have the queen of cups, and I have the seven of pentacles. You are missing some clarity. You've got some destruction coming upon, and you've got some sadness, and maybe somebody who is starting to flee once in a while, starting to leave. Okay, so let's go see. I'm going to move here. This is an oracle card that I'm going to use at the end, which is an activation card. So we're going to use that at the very end to come and give us a little booster. Yes. So, okay, let's begin here with the Tower card. So the Tower, the Tower is all about sudden awareness because it does come quite suddenly. It's a tower. It's a shock. It's a lightning bolt that's hitting that tower. Um, this is about renewal. It's darkness before dawn. It's shock. It's challenges. It's unforeseen events. It's disruptions. It's also accidents. People never think about it, but it is also accidents. In your case, it's not the case. It is not accidents, okay? Um, so this is all about when the tower appears, it's just a lightning storm. is symbolic of that sudden and dramatic moment of enlightenment when physical elements or any of the foreseen or drastic changes this cause you to just reevaluate life altogether. Now, this card is really asking you to look at your identity and to rebuild it after being, um, after feeling suffered, a shock of a dramatic change into your life. Um, whether this change is physical, emotional, psycho psychological, the change the tower can bring can leave us feeling stunned. However, the event may not be as shocking as the reaction or the realization of who you are and where you are at this point right now into your life. So this is really a time for you to reevaluate who you are. The event may not be as sudden as your realization, but at this point in your life, you need to do this. Now, um, the tower is all about to expect a potentially unforeseen or an unpleasant surprise. Sadly, I have to tell you, this is all uh, about love. Okay, you're going to be receiving some news in your relationship. Um, so you need to ask yourself here, um, how can you suddenly change something into the negative, into a positive, perhaps, into something that you might think might be happening here, okay? Um, you need to, um, you're advised that to rebuild can be a tedious process, and it's best to do it one step at a time. So please do remember that whenever you are going to be reconstructing this tower after the news, you're going to have to work on reconstructing it one step at a time, okay? Very, very important. Um, so now... Sorry about that. Okay, now let's continue. Um, so this is the Tower card. Okay, now we're going to go with the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups here, if you look, the Five of Cups is really not all that happy, right? The Five of Cups is looking a little bit uh, gloomy down here, doesn't really know what to do too much, um, a little bit in this in this sadness here. And this is pretty much what this cup, uh, what this cup, what this card does uh, talk about. So this is really about you. It's about your, it's a lagoon creature, by the way. I got it. That's it. It's a lagoon creature. Um, 
this is all about disappointment. It's about grief. It's about being overwhelmed. It's frustration. It's hopelessness. It's, it's pessimism. It's sorrow. And this is all coming from the message that you're getting that is coming from the tower. Your partner is going to be giving you a message, okay? And it's not, it has nothing to do with, with cheating or third parties. Don't even think about it. It has nothing to do with it. I, they, I think they just disconnected, okay? I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get along to it here. I think it's just a disconnection. It's a cold feeling. It's just kind of separating. It's kind of losing its passion slowly. Um, but they're going to be discussing this with you and well I'm sure that you are already kind of aware of it but you didn't quite know that maybe it was arriving right now so this is going to be somewhat of a little bit of a sudden shock to you um this is really about something in your life may be causing you frustration you're um or you've experienced a difficult loss or disappointment um if you're feeling overwhelmed right now you need to recall joyous occasions to help you focus on the positive things in your life okay sometimes we kind of get caught up in situations or relationships that just did not work out and that we kind of become hardened cynics and we just lose hope about love altogether don't let pessimism get a grip on you okay you don't want to look like the lagoon over here and if you're experiencing any any feelings of hopelessness or uninspired well it's likely due to the unresolved experiences that need to be addressed right now the success in your life are more important and have shaped you more than the perceived failures if you're feeling overwhelmed when confronted with the damage that that um, you've been inflicted upon okay you need to reassess it you need to make that difference um, you need to try to avoid victimizing a victimization trap of convincing yourself that you're helpless in your own life and that you can't change sometimes just holding on to grief and seeing only the negative side of things is a way to fool you into feeling in control now are you trying to be maybe unaccountable for change? Look ahead and envision where you would like to be instead of where you think you are right now at this very moment. So this is really about a full body change, okay? It's um, it's a time to face that your current situation is causing you grief and that you're focused on what is not working. And, and you're so critical that you're not really recognizing what is truly bringing you some joy. So please do, um, for me, try and find out, try and ask yourself what brings you joy. Okay, what brings you joy into your life? Um, what do you need to release from your past to move forward? These are all these little questions they could ask yourself that would really dramatically quite help you here. Moving on to the page of wands. The page of wands is your partner over here. Maybe a he, maybe a she. This is your partner. Um, this is all about being impulsive. This is about being reckless. They don't really care all that much. You know, they're kind of walking around there with the roots. The roots are, un they're, they're, they're not in the ground anymore. They are unrooted. They are no more grounded. They're starting to leave slowly. This is about slow, it's lethargic, it's cold, it's cautious, it's stuck, it's short-tempered. Uh, this is your partner right now, okay? And you're just not getting that clarity. You're not getting the clarity. You've got the sun down there and you're looking for that clarity, but it is just not coming to you. You're just not getting the answers. You're not getting, um, you're just not getting what it is that you want. You're not getting everything that you want to be able to even close off this, um, to be able to even close off this, uh, not this file, but this um, this problem that you have right now, okay? This issue, we are looking for some clarity, you're looking for some enlightenment, but this is just all you're getting is sorrow, it's cold, it's restrictions, it's uh, conservative, it's very suspicious, there's very suspicious behavior going on, or if it's not behavior, it's very suspicious uh, minds that are going on here, okay, that are at work. So it's very, very important to, uh, to try, don't stop, try and find out what is going on. I know you're getting down on yourself, I know you're getting upset, you're getting pessimistic around your love life because you're just not getting what it is that you want and your partner just doesn't seem to really care all that much, really just kind of disconnect and doesn't care that much. So you need to really, um, you need to work a little bit harder and you need to find yourself. You need to find yourself in the five of cups here. You need to see where it is that you want to go. You need to make that reassessment. And um, when I'm talking about the um, queen of cups over here, the Queen of Cups also, it's reckless, it's silence, it's insecure, this is you, you're joyless, you're unseeing, you're, you're just not happy, this is you not happy into the relationship. Oh, you, by the way, you could be a man or a woman, it's not because it's a queen. Um, so this is really you just not happy into the relationship. And you know what, we're going to finish it with the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is really about uh, neglect. 
So you're feeling neglect. You, it's, the relationship has become lazy. There's a certain decline. There's inactivity. There's a lot of stagnation. There's indifference, okay? There is indifference into your relationship. You need to really, right now, what you need to know is that your relationship is not going all that well. There's a lot of indifference. There's a lot of stagnation. There's a lot of coldness. There's not a lot of answers. You need to communicate. You need to know where this is going, okay? You need to go where this message is. Where is this tower? Where is it hitting? How hard is it hitting? How much do you have to rebuild? If you want to rebuild, these are all questions you're going to be having, uh, having to ask yourself, you and your partner. Um, as for the um, activation card of the um, Power of Love of James Van Prague, I have release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies of the loving forces of the universe. The moment has arrived for you to truly usher in the healing power of love by letting go of all the illusions you have been holding on to that no longer serve your highest good. You now have the power to release that stagnant energy of old emotions and behaviors such as shame, regret, self-criticism, and you need to create a new space for love, self-acceptance, and forgiveness. You are an energetic being, and besides all the energy that you attract to you from within, an equal amount of energy is directed at you by external forces. You have no control over the intention behind this energy, but you do have control over whether you allow it into your space. This is your reading, my dear friends, Cancer, on what you need to know right now. I hope that it um, made some sense to you. I hope it resonated. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. It will be my great pleasure to um, answer your questions. And um, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a great day. Thank you for being there.